Hello everybody, my name is Jade and in this video I'm going to talk to you about 8 months of HRT and something personal that I've been struggling with about my way and how that intersects with me being trans. It's been 8 months on HRT now and there's a little update. I had some blood works done and everything looks good except my T-count was a little bit on the high side. On my own request I asked my endocrinologist, which is basically your hormone doctor in layman terms, uh, to maybe help with that. The reason I ask is because I one of the things that gives me major dysphoria is my retreating hairline and with a haircut like this it's manageable it's fine but I know that there are still some bald spots there that need to be fixed and those bald spots they've been growing some hairs I've talked about that in the past but in order to support that I figured since my t-kind is a little bit high why not try and lower that a little bit more see what happens. I got on spironolactone 50 milligrams extra which is fine it works as a different type of uh, testosterone blocker to my normal decapatil and this has been working i've been a little bit more emotional i had crying fits and this has been a different experience for me but it's a sign that it's working whether or not it's working for the way i intended to work that's something that i won't be able to see for quite a few months in other good news regarding hair uh, my therapist actually found somebody who is specialized in hair therapy and they worked with trans people before and they managed to get some great results in regrowing hair so that's something that I'm going to look into and I'm going to start in the future. I'm also back to my old vocal coach who's back from her pregnancy and has a lovely little baby. The main thing that I want to talk about today mostly is the intersection of my identities because yes i am trans uh but i am not just trans i am also a history teacher i am a nerd i am part of the bigger community on the world uh, i am also someone who is a little bit older i mean i'm almost 28 i am reaching that age where you're gonna people gonna say ah you're near a middle age which terrifies me but that's a story for another time and all those identities, they intersect and they make me to me. But that's also that gives you your unique perspective. Because if it was just me being trans, my perspective wouldn't be as unique as any other trans person. But my perspective is unique because I'm trans, because I am a nerd, because I'm a geek, because I live in the Netherlands, because I live in a certain town that I'm not gonna name, because uh, I am a little bit older. And some of those connect and they give unique views and unique um, unique viewpoints on certain issues. One of those things that I want to talk about is passing as a trans woman and being on the heavy side. Because what happened, I was heavy when I started transitioning. And because I was heavy when I started transitioning, most of my fat is stored in typical male places, which means around the waist. And as my lovely girlfriend pointed out, at this point your body is like a little bit separated. You have the top part, which is starting to look very feminine, you have breasts, then you go to the middle part where your belly is and the belly fat that you build up, that's very manly and it's very, dis well, something that people will definitely see. And then there's the bottom part, which is also starting to look very feminine. If there's any advice that I would give to somebody in my same position, try and get some weight down before you start your hormones. Why? Because it will just make clothing feel better on your body. It makes shopping easier, it makes passing easier, it makes life in general a bit easier. Am I saying that you need to be in perfect health? No, definitely not. Am I saying that you should spend two years uh, working down everything before starting transitioning? Gods no. But in the time that you have to wait on your mats, start working. The earlier you start, the better it will get. Learn from my mistakes. That being said, I am working on it. It, it gets better. Right now I'm doing a program that's called 75 Soft and things get easier. Um, the idea is very simple. You have a few rules. One is eat well, work out 45 minutes a day, uh, drink, three, drink three liters of water, read 10 pages in a book. And I just forgot the last one, but it's something that I'm gonna show in here in a list anyway. I'm on day one right now. So I'm gonna see how that goes. But the idea is to Set a challenge for yourself to improve yourself. And so far, day one has been great. It's been a joy. I hope all of you enjoyed this update. I hope all of you who did 
please leave a comment what you would like me to talk about next because I want to address some topics from you guys. Uh, see it as a Q&A of sorts. Also, please subscribe. Go to another video of mine. I recently made this video and it's going to be quite fun. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye.